Hey there, this is Holly's Rockin' Recipes, and I'm Holly, and thanks for checking me out. So today I'm gonna be making my Simply Irresistible Apps with Herbs three ways. So I'm gonna be putting together three appetizers that are incredibly easy. They don't have a lot of ingredients, but they have a ton of flavor. And obviously a lot of the flavor comes from the herbs, but on two of the three appetizers, I'm actually going to drizzle over a balsamic syrup that I make. And I'll talk about that first. It's so easy to put together. It's just like your basic simple syrup principle where you use equal parts of sugar and equal parts of water, boil it up, let it cool, and you have a simple syrup. But obviously instead of water, I used balsamic vinegar. So I actually changed up the ratio a little bit. I used a half a cup of balsamic vinegar to three quarters of a cup of sugar so I would get a thicker syrup and it is so delicious and sweet. You can pour it on um, strawberries, you can pour it on ice cream, you can put them on waffles. It is such a good syrup. So I'm gonna get started with the first appetizer, which is my caprese kebabs. So it has everything in it that a caprese salad usually has, but in cute little kebabs that are easy to eat. So obviously, first of all, I get my little skewer and I found different colored um, grape tomatoes. You can get the little grape tomatoes and different colored ones are pretty. So I just put one on the skewer, then a little piece of basil, and then it's not a caprese salad without mozzarella cheese. So I took my block of mozzarella cheese and cut it up into little blocks and I will use that for the base. And it just stands up on the plate just like this. And it looks so pretty. And especially if you have different colored tomatoes, you can put two tomatoes and two pieces of cheese and two pieces of basil if you wanted to make it a little bit bigger. But they're so much fun to eat and they're so pretty on the plate. And then the next thing I do is I just drizzle them with that balsamic syrup and then give them a few flakes of salt. And that contrast of the sweet from the syrup and the salt is so good, especially with the tomatoes and the cheese. And then plate it up. And that's it, how simple was that? So now I will move on to my second app with herbs. Now my second app with herbs is my crostini with blue cheese and bacon. And these are so good that I will admit, sometimes I make a plate of them just to have for dinner. So anytime you get bacon and blue cheese together, how bad can that be? So obviously I start out with bread to make my crostini. So I have a thin baguette here. Uh, you can get obviously a thicker baguette to make the crostini bigger. And what I did is I sliced them up about this thin and I just drizzled them with a little bit of olive oil on both sides. And I toasted them up in a 400 degree oven uh, about five minutes on each side so they get nice and toasty. And once they're like this, I just simply get some cooked bacon that I've crisped up and break that up, put it on my little crostini. Move this so you can see. And then I put on my blue cheese crumbles. And then once that's done, that just simply goes back into the oven for about another three or four minutes at the most. And that blue cheese will get all nice and melty. And once I bring it out, I have it like this. Then I top it with my balsamic syrup nice thick balsamic syrup and just a little bit of finely chopped rosemary and rosemary is a strong herb so i'm not using a lot of it just a little bit but rosemary goes so good with meat and we obviously have bacon in there and the blue cheese is strong so that strong rosemary can hold up to it and these are so incredibly delicious they are definitely my favorite so you have to give those a try so now I will move on to my app number three. Hey there, for my third and final apps with herbs, I'm gonna be making my sausage and goat cheese bites. And just like the other two apps, these are very easy to put together, not a lot of ingredients. I actually buy the already cooked up smoked sausage that comes in a package like this. You can also get kielbasa, that will work as well. And I just slice it up to be about, mm, I don't know, about half inch pieces. 
and I like to go ahead and brown them up in a pan even though they're already cooked and let them cool. I just like that brown bits on there. So I brown them up on both sides in the pan and I completely let them cool because I'm gonna be putting the goat cheese on it and I don't want the goat cheese to melt all over the place. And the tip with the goat cheese is if you put it in the freezer about 15 minutes before you're gonna slice it up, it makes it a lot easier because the goat cheese is so soft. That just makes it simple to slice and a sharp knife helps. And I just put that on the top of my sausage and then I just get a little sprig of basil and that is the herb for this one and it's that easy so apps with herbs they're not only simply irresistible but they're simple to make <laughs>